Meanwhile, Scott, late this afternoon, crowds of family members and friends gathered to mourn the loss of Perrette Sontag at his funeral in Spring Valley. News 12's Sean Bergen continues our Team 12 coverage tonight with that part of the story. Sean. Yeah, Janine, funeral services for Perret Sontag held here at the Hellman Funeral Chapel in Spring Valley wrapped up here just a short time ago. This after the 50-year-old father of seven children was found dead of an apparent suicide in Harriman State Park on Sunday. Uh, he was a sweetheart of a guy, always willing to help out when needed and uh, always with a smile on his face. And it's just uh, it's a tragedy and uh, people like him should live to be 120. Five U Pearl was among the throngs of mourners who turned out to remember Perret Sontag in Spring Valley Monday. As we've been reporting, the 50-year-old businessman went missing back on March 14th after reportedly making suicidal remarks. His body was found by a hiker in Harriman State Park Sunday after an intensive 10-day search that included aircraft and hundreds of volunteers. Rabbi Aaron Fink teaches at the school some of Sontag's seven kids attended. Uh, everybody who is a uh, friend of the family is, uh, is appreciated for all they've done, all the searchers, all the rescuers, all the, all the prayers, and our prayers never go unanswered. We just don't know where the answers lie sometimes. Investigators have said it does not appear that foul play was involved, and it is believed that Sontag took his own life by driving his car into the ravine. His family recently moved back to the U.S. from Israel after it was reported that his business may have been failing. Rockland County lawmaker Aaron Weeder says it was like a punch in the gut to all who knew Peretz when his body was discovered in the bottom of a ravine. Uh, we didn't expect this to happen, to end this way, uh, but there is closure. Uh, there was uh, a major concern that if he was lost in the park, we might never have found him. And, you know, uh, we did find him. The family is going to have closure. Now, we understand that Sontag's body will be flown back to his beloved Israel for burial services. It was as per his wishes, we're told. In Spring Valley, Sean Bergen, News 12. Janine? Sean, a tragic end to that very long search. Thank you so much for that report.